everybody and welcome to my youtube channel today we as you can see by the title are going to be doing a lavender type of look i love the color lavender i think that it is very soothing and so i think that it will look nice on the eyes um if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and i love doing different makeup tutorials also ring that bell so you can get notified every time i upload a video and without further ado let's go right into this makeup tutorial as you guys can see i already did my eyebrows um the reason why i do my eyebrows off camera all the time is because i basically just take this maybelline brow define plus fill duo and i just outline my eyebrows it's been a while since i threaded my eyebrows and so they kind of look messy i apologize guys i will be sure to go get my eyebrows nicely threaded very soon so bear with me um, next um you guys are just gonna see me put on this milani eyeshadow i apply it all over my eyelids nothing fancy nothing new I like to apply at the bottom so that my eyeliner doesn't run or anything. It just sets the eyeliner as well and any makeup that I decide to put at the bottom of my eyelids. So if you guys are wondering why she put in primer at the bottom of her eyes, it's because of that. The same reason I just gave you guys. So next we are going to go in with our first lavender color, which um, I'm going to be using from the ColourPop collection. I don't remember what this color was. I think it's called Kale. Kale me something? I don't know. I'll link the name of the color at the bottom. We're going to be taking this eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. And we're going to go on, on this purple color. And guys, this look is very simple. I always like to start in the crease of my eyes. Since I have hooded eyes, I always apply my makeup with um, my eyes kind of open so I can see like where the product lands and how it will look like if I have my eyes closed. So after we get our crease, we are going to be taking this, I'm going to stay in the ColourPop realm. <laughs> We're going to take this nice ColourPop uh, Super Shock Shadow in the shade Tinsel which is so beautiful guys you're gonna see it when I apply it all over my eyelids and basically it says that with ColourPop you could apply it with your fingers that's how it applies best and we're just gonna put it all over our lids and wow look at that glitter it is so beautiful Look at that. Wait, <laughs> I'm like so confused. I don't know which eye to close. I'll close this one. Do you see that? How beautiful that is? Oh my gosh. It is such a pretty color. Yeah. I almost forgot to um, blend out the edges so it doesn't look weird. We're going to apply a little bit of highlighter underneath the eyebrows real soon. I just want to smoke the edges out a little so that you don't see that harsh line. Yeah, I love this color so much though. And now that we're done with that, um, I know that this look was going to be like a purple look, but I want to make it um, a little more dramatic. This, call, this is a shade by the Super Shock Shadow as well. It's called Slave to Pink. I'm not sure if they still sell this in ColourPop, but I kind of want to just add it all at the bottom. So it's like purple and pink at the bottom. I love that combination a lot, purple and pink. I think that they go well. I'm going to also take just the end of my finger, my pinky, and I'm going to apply it at the bottom. to the inside of our eyes, the inner corner of our eyes. Mm 
I think it looks so nice together. So after we applied Slave to Pink at the bottom of our eyes, I'm going to grab an eyeliner. I think I'll go with black today. And I will apply it all over my lower lashes. This is by Remo, Remo, I never know how to say it. It's the Exaggerate Smoke and Shine Automatic Gel Eyeliner. So we're gonna apply this to the um, inside just to make our eyes pop the waterline the bottom waterline to make our eyes pop wow look over to see how that makes a difference and then I'm, I'm just gonna tight line and do the the one at the top I promise you guys, you will get used to um, tight lining. I used to cry all the time, but now I don't cry at all. <laughs> Look, I'm saying that as I'm like, <laughs> as I'm like trying to hold in my tears. I'm trying to lie to, to you guys, so you guys don't get intimidated by water lining. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, you won't cry at all, but I'm like sniffling over here. <laughs> but still, don't get intimidated. Because it makes your it takes your eye look to the next level. Okay, and that's it for that. I was thinking if I wanna add like an eyeliner at the top end, maybe I'll just leave it like this. So we're gonna go straight in with a mascara. I love this e.l.f. mascara, not only is it very cheap. Okay, I don't like the word cheap, so I'll say not only is it very inexpensive. Um, but it also works, so it works for me. This is the purple look with a little pop of pink at the bottom for the lipstick. Mm, maybe I'll go in with, for the lips, I think I just want to go with a simple color. This is the Peri Peras uh, red lipstick in the shade, I don't know, but I will link in the description box below. I apologize, guys. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna put this on our lips and then blot it out. Wow, so pretty. I know that a lot of people um just apply this product to the like the inner corner and then slowly blot it out. Words but I like to apply it everywhere. I'm just gonna let it dry and then I'll blot it out. Now we're just gonna blot it out mm -mm -mm. like this. Get rid of any lines because this product tends to hug the lines of your lips. So I just like to, that's why I blot it out. And there you go, guys. This is the look. It's a lavender pink look with a lip that kind of matches your lip color. Um, as you can see, I skipped like anything on the face. I just wanted it to be a simple makeup that maybe if you're in a rush, that you can just do this makeup. Or 
if you just want to do something that's very simple and not have to do like all the face stuff you could just do something simple like this so yeah I'll get closer so you guys can see Wow, I love this color so much guys. If you have not purchased ColourPop's Super Shock Shadow in the shade Slave to Pink, then you are crazy. <laughs> because this shade is so beautiful. Let me just tell you, you guys can see for yourself. Wow. guys and that was a simple get ready with me yes so um, if you guys enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload a video once again my name is day and you heard right that's day d-a-y that's why it's called daily dose so you can get a daily dose of me <laughs> creative right I tried um, and that's about it. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye guys.